what to look out for when you show up on site to do an inspection this video goes to biodigester installers looking at learning how to install a biodigester the right way when you do have an opportunity to install a biodigester one of the first questions that you'll be asked is to show up on the site to do an inspection so this video basically shows you how to go about it and then what to look out for this is a, a two bedroom house and there are two seats done for this house it's like a semi-detached so in our two bedroom house two apartments semi-detached and each of them have got two seats in them so then the idea is that they want to do a digester and after they have agreed to the digester what we do is to do an inspection and to make sure that the pipes that are in the building actually meet the requirement for which the digester will work well for them you don't want to do a digester and then three or four months later you are asked to come back because the digester that you have done is full you want to do a digester expecting that in my last if it's done well at least three years before the first maintenance is done and one of the reasons you will have to ensure you can meet that requirement is when you are installing the digester you stick to what actually works which is to ensure that your digester apart from the location you want to work for you is also installed at a level where soak away or the water can get a better outlet for you to go and that's key when it comes to doing a digester and that's why at dream how digesters we always make sure we do inspection and then the clients are told if there's going to be a problem then this is what we have to do if you agree fine if you don't agree you walk away it's not only about the money but it's also about your peace of mind and sometimes there's also the problem with the plumber who is looking at having job done so then the idea is that they will go and bury the pipes and then they can charge more but if you go and then you realize that it has to be a pit trap seat you have to insist on a pit trap seat otherwise your work will be in vain and referral that you need for future job will also become a problem for you the problem in ghana and most of african countries with digesters is that it's a new technology and most people are now getting used to it so you don't want to go and spoil your name and go and do a digester that's not going to work and then the referral will not come because the person will say ah these digesters do not work when you follow the right conditions and you meet the right requirement the measurement and the soil test and your assessment is done and you do a digester the guarantee is that it's going to work well but these conditions have to be met and you should not only, should not only be looking for the money that you're going to make but you should also be looking at how the work will give you that peace of mind that assurance that referral that you need tomorrow for another work otherwise there's going to be a problem because i've had clients or homeowners complain that digesters do not work they do not work they are not working they are not working digesters actually work but you have to do the right thing and it's not only the money that has been made that is not only the money that you need for you to be happy and know that oh, okay i'm making money no you also want to ensure that everything is done and so the first thing you do when you show up on site will be to determine how many toilet seats are in the room if you are told that one then the next best thing to do is to go outside and try to locate where the pipes are so you look out for the pipes and how they are showing on the wall outside the house that will help you determine one the level at which you are going to go and two after the soil test to have an understanding of the depth in which you are supposed to go it also gives you an idea about the level where the the filling of the house is going to be so probably the person might want to have a pavement done or slabs or tiles done outside then you go around the house take a look at how everything has been done and then you find yourself where to locate the digester one of the key parts for this particular understanding or what you should be doing 
is to make sure that most houses have been done in such a way that the plumbers have hidden the pipes down there and it's going to be a difficulty for you if you go and do the digester and it also goes down so your duty is to ensure that the pipes are showing up and then you will do your digester for the connection to be done for you to go inside smoothly another thing is that most houses in ghana as i've explained in the previous video use a strap if they are using a strap then there's going to be a problem for you because the pipe will be hidden at the base or the footing of the body and you will not be able to use that level because it means that your digester will have to go extra down when it goes down then it means that your socari will also have to go down then you are left with the problem of having to find a level enough for you to have a soak away that will work so i always advise that whenever you go on site and you realize that the pipes are down the next thing to do is to ask the plumber if they can bring the pipe up if they can bring it up then fine then if it's an extra trap then there's no problem but if they cannot bring it up then the best thing is to dismantle the one that have been hidden on the floor and then do a p trap or use a p trap seat so that it can show up on the wall and then it can be projected down and then you have enough elevation for your digester installation so in this particular case you can see the pipes are all hidden they are not showing outside the body the footing which means it can be caused by two things either the filling has hidden the, the pipes or the plumber laid it and hid it but the problem is the place is a waterlogged area or clay so then you will be forced to have to bring this pipe up just to get the elevation that you need for your digester to work for you as an installer to have the peace of mind that you need for your project inside and have a look at the toilet room then this is the toilet so in this particular house the pipes have been laid I mean the toilet seat has not been fixed luckily for you but there's a pipe on the ground and all the tiles have been done but then the issue is that it's always best you ensure your digester is done before most of this work is done the only reason is that when you come up here into the room and you realize that the tiles have been fixed then there's little you can do in case you want to ask for changing of the seat because then it might affect the tiles that have been done on the wall so you always best to advise the homeowner to do the digester before doing the tiling the digester should not be an afterthought it should be part of the building process and then that will ensure that a good work is done this is the other washroom uh -huh. so in this case you are looking for a position whereby will it be possible for a bee trap to work if yes then it means that this pipe will have to be taken off and then the one that goes on the wall wall will have to be installed and then you will get the elevation the projection that you need outside for your digester to work well and sometimes that's the, the fight you are going to have with the plumbers because they will tell you they have done their work already and they are not willing to let the, the pipes be removed again so if the pipe is like this then you can ask for it to be removed and then a new one could then to do it as a p trap for a p trap seat but sometimes if it's like this and it's showing outside then it means that you are in a good place 
I mean, you can go ahead and do what you are supposed to do. The problem arises if the pipe is far away from the wall. It means that there's nothing you can do and then you will force to just leave it like that. Because the distance between the pipe and the wall, the one showing outside, is big. If you are interested in learning how to install a simple on-site biodegradable toilet, then click on the link below. It will take you to our store. There's a downloadable PDF guide that you can download and watch the video and learn how to install this new amazing technology. Thank you for watching once again. Next time. Bye-bye.